everyone, and thank you for tuning in to my latest oil painting time lapse. This piece is titled Dissolve, and it actually started off as a little Patreon reward drawing that I made a few months ago. And when I created the drawing, I didn't use any references because this idea just kind of quickly appeared in my mind and I wanted to capture it before I forgot. And months later, when I was looking through some pictures on my phone, I saw this drawing and I thought it would be really fun to try to create an oil painting featuring the same concept and also to challenge myself to see what not using any reference photos would be like on a full color oil painting. Although I often sketch without reference photos just so I can freely create a concept, um, I actually have never created an entire oil painting completely reference free before. So this was a very interesting and I would say very useful learning experience for me. By the way, if you're interested in watching a 60 minute tutorial of this piece with a color mixing demo, as well as hundreds of hours of exclusive content, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happy artist. And a quick disclaimer, I am in no way trying to recommend or suggest that people abandon their reference photos and just start winging it. Um, this is simply a quick little experiment that I thought would be fun to try out. But actually in creating this painting without using any references, I learned the importance of using references and just how crucial it is to practice studying from real life or from photographs, um, practicing building those foundation skills and just in general, building up our visual memory. Because although it was really fun and freeing and definitely an exciting challenge to try kind of every once in a while, um, I still think overall I could have benefited greatly from having a few references for this piece, especially when it comes to the human body and uh, the anatomy. I think for me, I'm always trying to find the right balance between using reference photos in order to sharpen and hone my fundamental skills, um, but also at the same time, not letting myself feel too reliant on reference photos because in the past, whenever I started off each painting or started my creative process with a reference photo or a set of reference photos, it kind of at least for me, um, hindered my creativity a bit. And I was not able to think outside the box or come up with very fresh concepts. I kind of just always used the reference photos as a starting point. Um, so now my process, I start with a reference free concept sketch, and then I try to find reference photos to supplement that concept so I can bring my vision to life more accurately. I think overall, despite wishing that I had more references to help me render the anatomical parts uh, more correctly, I'm still glad that I didn't use reference photos for the hair smoke concept because I really wanted to see if I could create a unique texture and form for the kind of hybrid of hair and smoke. Oh, by the way, I am also not trying to promote smoking, <laughs> FYI. I just wanted to clear that up. Um, the reason that the subject is smoking in the painting is because I wanted this piece to convey the calming sensation of dissolving away our stress and anxiety, kind of like the way smoke dissipates into air. So the literal smoke in the painting is more just a visual metaphor uh, to capture that feeling of relaxation and release. Like many of you, I'm sure, uh, 2020 has just been a year of nonstop anxiety for me. So I've been trying to come up with uh, creative concepts for my art that can help offset that stress and instead evoke feelings of calmness and peace. And 
as we approach the end of the video, I just wanted to quickly conclude by summarizing my thoughts on reference photos. I think it's equally important to use reference photos to strengthen our fundamental skills, while also allowing ourselves to occasionally break free from references to see if we can come up with different, maybe more out of the box creative concepts. But ultimately, every artist and art style is different. Some artists may prefer doodling concept sketches reference free, while other artists come up with their concepts in the process of taking creative reference photos. While other artists might come up with that creativity in um, accumulating a collage of different reference photos to help create sort of a mood board. So like always, I just want to encourage everyone to find the process that works best for you. Anyway, that's about it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. All the art supplies are listed in my video description as usual. And if you're interested in adopting fine art prints of this piece, I have them available at happyd-artist.com. And lastly, you can get 20% off of prints, originals, and everything in my store because I'm having my holiday sale starting now. So for 20% off of your entire order, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. Please thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.